Hey everybody, I'm Exotic Gaming. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So you might have a lot of lag when you play a game like COD Mobile, or when you just use your phone in general. You might be pretty frustrated because no matter what you do, it seems like your phone is always lagging. Well, don't worry. Hopefully, this video is going to change that. Hopefully, it will improve your overall device performance. Today, I've compiled all of the best tips and tricks, including a couple of new tips and tricks since my last video, that explain how you can make your phone run better regardless if you have an iPhone or an Android device. It's pretty cool and I hope this video does help you. If it does, please take a second and hit that like button. It literally takes a half second, but it really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel because this isn't the only video that you're gonna see like this on my channel in the future. I try to do these videos every four to six months or so, so in a couple of months, you're gonna see another one with all new tips and tricks that I didn't talk about in today's video. With that being said though, thank you so much. Let's get into this. All right guys, so these first tips and tricks are all new for today's video. If you've watched my past videos, these were not talked about in the last ones. So what you're gonna wanna do first is if you have an Android device, go to your settings and search build number as I've done right here. It's gonna tell you exactly where it is on your phone and all you need to do is tap that a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. It might automatically bring you to the developer options. If it doesn't, what you can do is go back to the search, search developer options. It'll tell you exactly where it is. I'm going to open it up. And then the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have too many things running in the background. Sometimes it's as simple as literally just swiping out of random apps like I've done right here. But some apps like to stay hidden. And even if you swipe out of them, they're still running in the background. So what you can do is go to running services and see how much of your RAM is used up. As you can see, I have Google Play services. Now, now that's not something that I can technically just turn off. But for example, if I swiped out of something like, I don't know, Facebook, and then I went down to the running services and I still saw it there, what I can do is actually click on Facebook or whatever other app it is, and then click the stop button and it will completely stop that app and free up a little bit of RAM on your device. Obviously, this is much more useful if you have completely maxed out RAM. If your RAM looks like this, like mine does, obviously that's not the issue with your device. And let's go to the next tips and tricks. So go down a little bit farther and find networking. And what you wanna make sure you have on is mobile data always active. This little one right here, turn it on. If you're a little confused as to what that means, this is really going to help people that have very low bandwidth on their internet. Their Wi-Fi cuts in and out a lot of times, and this will basically automatically switch to your mobile service whenever your Wi-Fi fails. So say you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, you're connected to a Wi-Fi with a lot of other people on it, and all of a sudden, the other people that connected to it start downloading gigabytes worth of videos. It's going to slow down your Wi-Fi and normally it might kick you out of Call of Duty Mobile, but if you have that setting turned on, whenever that happens, it'll automatically switch to mobile data and you'll never have to have that issue again. And then another thing that you can do is go down a little bit farther to apps, and I would recommend making sure your background process limit is at the right number for you. For me, I have a powerful device, so I can put it at standard process, standard limit, but, if you have a very low-end device, you can choose no background processes as I have done right here, and nothing else will run in the background. It will just be Call of Duty Mobile. Everything else is paused right here. And if I go into my gallery now, then it will start to run the gallery. It's paused on the settings, and now I go back into the settings and the gallery was completely just shut off, right? So nothing is going on in the background, and if for whatever reason maybe you're using something like Discord and you want to be able to have a voice call with people when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, maybe it's good to have at most one process so you have Discord running in the background and just Call of Duty Mobile. So that is obviously all depending on your device. Choose whatever is best for you. I'm gonna put it back to standard limits and let me show you the final thing. So what you're gonna do is go back out to your settings and then go down to your app info, as I've done right here, and just start going through your apps and just choose a random app. You know, I have something like, I don't know, Disorder right here, which is an app that I haven't used in months at this point in time. What you can do is see data usage, click on it and see if the app is allowed to run in the background. 
As you can see, mine is turned on background data. It enables usage of mobile data in the background. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't want this thing to be using up my mobile data. I can turn that off now. And then whenever I have that issue with my Wi-Fi where it dips and then it goes over to mobile data, that's going to be one less app that's being running in the background. So Call of Duty Mobile will be that much faster, right? Now, this is obviously going to be a lot more beneficial if you have certain apps like Facebook or Twitter or other heavily used apps that like to track your data a lot, right? I don't have those apps downloaded on my phone, but if you did have those, make sure if you don't want them running in the background to turn that setting off and it will make things a lot better. Now, obviously, sometimes it's as simple as just having too many things running at too many times, right? And that's obviously as simple as just swiping out of a bunch of different things. But what you can also do is make sure you don't have any viruses. And this is whether or not you have an iPhone or an Android, you can go to the Google Play Store and you can just search antivirus. And I'm not gonna recommend any particular one, but you can download any one of these, preferably one that doesn't cost any money because they do pretty much the same thing, right? So maybe something like, I don't know, Kaspersky. That's what I have on my computer and it seems to work pretty well. So you would install that, you would scan your device, you would see if there's any virus on your device. And obviously if there is one, it might be something that's slowing down your device and causing lag. So you can delete that and it might make your device run a little bit better. Now, at this point in time, all of these other tips are going to be tips that I've talked about in past videos. So if you have watched my past videos, you can feel free to click away. But if you don't remember what I said in those past videos, you might want to watch this because this is going to be a little refresher and it's a lot of very useful tips. So first things first, obviously the two big issues that are causing lag on your device are either RAM issues or storage issues. Sometimes it might be ping issues. And if you're living in certain countries around the world, having ping might be completely unavoidable, right? There are certain countries in Africa, for example, where there isn't a designated server when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile anywhere near you. And there's really no way that you can fix it and make it run any bit better. But if you live in a country like India or Malaysia, for example, let's just say India, right? And you have two friends that live in Europe and you're trying to play a game with them. That's two people in Europe, one person in India. The person in India is probably going to connect to a European server. And obviously you're going to get hundreds of ping because of doing that, right? So what you might need to do is just not play with your friends if you're playing in a competitive match and you might just have to play with people that live in your country that will have the least amount of ping on your device when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile. Obviously, another very simple thing that you can do directly in the Call of Duty app itself is lower your graphics down to the lowest it possibly can be and maximize your frame rate, right? You can play with low graphics and 30 frames per second, but you cannot play with high graphics and 10 frames per second. It is not a fun experience. So sacrifice the graphics, don't sacrifice the frames per second, and it will run a lot better. And here's another thing. If you play Call of Duty Mobile with your phone plugged in, that's actually very bad. It might not make sense, but think about it. When you plug your phone in, it gets pretty hot when it's on the charger, especially if it's been on it for a very long time. And when you play Call of Duty Mobile, your device gets pretty hot as well. So that's two different things making your device very hot. And when it overheats, it causes the game to slow down and your overall device to actually have a very big issue with its battery, right? So play the game without it being charged. And then when your phone is very low on battery, put it on the charger, but don't touch it. And then once it's finished charging, then take it off the charger and then play the game once again. And speaking about overheating, if you do have issues with that, there's two things that you can do. First off, you can put it in front of a fan. So the fan is blowing cooler air at the device. That's what a lot of people do. Some of the people watching this video right now can say that they've done that. Or here's something that I've talked about in some of my past videos. You can stick your phone in the refrigerator for just a few seconds, right? Maybe 10, 15 seconds at most. There's a lot of people that are going to be stupid and go into the comment section and say, oh, well, that damages the phone. But a refrigerator is like 40 degrees, right? And there are people that live in different countries around the world where it doesn't hit 40 degrees Fahrenheit for six months out of the year. They have a phone and it's perfectly fine, right? So phones are capable of being at that temperature. Just put it in there for a short time, not a long time. And when you take it out, it'll be at a much normal temperature 
and it won't be overheating as much anymore. Now, obviously, if you have storage issues, it's pretty simple. Obviously, there's either too many photos, too many messages, too many videos, too many apps. You need to go through your phone's storage and see what is taking up the most amount of storage. If you have 100 gigabytes of messages like I have on my phone, well, guess what? You probably need to delete some of those messages. There is no reason why you need to have messages from all the way back in 2014 when the last time you talked to that person was in 2014, right? Keep the messages with your girlfriend, with your parents, with some of your best friends, right? But those people that you don't talk to anymore, you can delete those messages and that could be potential gigabytes worth of space that's freed up from your phone, right? And a phone that has 20% of its storage filled up is always gonna run better than a phone that has 80% of its storage filled up. Next up, I would recommend moving all of your photos and videos either to a computer or the cloud it's ideal to do both because for whatever reason, if the cloud just fails, you'll always have a backup on a computer or some sort of drive, you know, an SD card, for example, or something along those lines that is hugely recommended. So you have all of your pictures and videos stored on one single thing, but the cloud is perfectly fine as well. And then that way it frees up many gigabytes worth of space on your phone. And then third, for apps, well, you might have a lot of apps on your phone that you don't use anymore, right? You may have downloaded a game in 2017 because a YouTuber said it was pretty cool, right? What about Raid Shadow Legends? You might have downloaded that game in 2018. You played it for a day and you were like, wow, I don't like that game, <laughs> right? And you don't touch it since. Well, I don't know how many gigabytes or megabytes that game is worth, but if you delete it, that's gonna free up space on your phone and it'll make your phone run a little bit better. And then obviously, you know, there are other things that you can do. You can look through everything that is taking up storage on your phone, but I would recommend keeping it at 70% or lower. Anything higher than 70% of your storage space filled up is gonna make your phone start to run into problems. And RAM also would have the same thing as well. If you start to max out your RAM on your phone, you need to shut down background processes as I talked about earlier on in this video. That's really the biggest issue. If you only have Call of Duty Mobile running and that's it, and it's still maxing out your RAM, you might simply not have a good enough phone to be able to play the game. And I'm sorry, but you might need to get something that has a bit more RAM, right? Like I don't really think a two gigabyte RAM phone is gonna be able to play Call of Duty Mobile well. But if you have four, to six, it might work a lot better, right? And if you're having issues, you can always close out of certain things that are running in the background to make it run better. And then finally, there are a couple of other bigger tips that I would recommend. These are a lot more complicated and they involve other apps or other stuff like that. There's an app called 1.1.1 or point one. I, I missed the other point one. This app you can download on iPhone or Android. I think you can do a free trial and basically what it does is it connects to a certain type of server where it makes your connection more secure first off, which is good if you're playing on a public Wi-Fi. But sometimes for some people, it makes your phone run a little bit better. You can also download apps that sometimes combine your internet and your Wi-Fi together. So your mobile data and your Wi-Fi. Speedify is one of those apps that does that. It basically combines your cell data and your Wi-Fi together, right? I don't know how much better it would work than that little option that we talked about earlier on in the video where you can turn on that mobile data always running, but might be worth a shot if all else fails. And then finally, at the end of all of this, I would recommend checking out a video that I will link down below in the description that involves you actually lowering the total amount of pixels on your display. I know it sounds crazy, right? But you can literally lower down the amount of pixels so your overall RAM usage is lowered. It doesn't work for anybody, but it's worth a shot. It's not a permanent thing. You can always revert it back to the way it was before, but it's worth trying out and I would definitely recommend it if all else fails. And there's a couple of other things that I probably missed in this video, but I think I covered all of the important things. If you guys would like to check out my other videos relating how to fix lag in Call of Duty Mobile, I will put the playlist down below in the description, but please check out that other video first that lowers the pixels on Android because that actually might help some people out. If this video did help you, then please take a second, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel down below. Really means a lot helps me out a lot. And the more people that interact with this video, the more people will see this video in the YouTube algorithm and more people can be helped and play and enjoy Call of Duty Mobile as the awesome game that it is. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all later.